Thank you to Zyro for sponsoring this video. In today's part one of three, how to create your own author website for your self-published book video series, I'm gonna be walking you through how to create your homepage and your library page for your website. is going on guys welcome to the channel if you're new here my name is Dane and on this channel I talk all about self-publishing books on Amazon on entrepreneurship and just lifestyle in general so if that kind of thing interests you make sure you subscribe drop a like on the video and hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos like I said in the intro for this this is gonna be part one of three of a video series of me talking about and showing you on screen giving you a walkthrough tutorial how to create a very in-depth and high quality author website for your self-published books. And this can be for a publishing brand as well. I'm just gonna be calling it an author website, so I don't have to say publishing brand, author website like a thousand times in this video. We'll just call it an author website, but of course this can be for your self-published books as well. And technically this is video two in this series, but the video number one, I'll link it on screen here or down below in the description, was me giving you just a general rundown of what an author website or a publishing business website should look like. In this video series here, I'm going over exactly how to create it and each video is gonna have one or two, or probably two or three different pages that incor to incorporate into the author website. So I'll be going in depth on those two pages today. And those two pages for today is gonna to be the home page and what I call the library page for your author website, okay? So without further ado, let's jump on my computer. I have stuff on the slides here. I'll be walking you through um, in a video, in a screen share, what I'm doing and how to create your own site. So. Without further ado, let's show my computer. Okay, we're in my computer here now. And if you missed video one, the tool that we're gonna be using for this author website is gonna be called Zyro. And there's a few main reasons why I like Zyro so much for this and why it's basically the perfect option for creating an author website or just like a portfolio website in general. But in terms of self-published books, an author website or for your publishing brand, whatever it may be, um, Zyro is the ultimate tool for this for a couple of reasons. So let me show you exactly why that is. And if you wanna get into Zyro, you can today. I'll show you how you can do that so you can follow along with me while I do this tutorial and create your own website with Zyro. Okay, so why use Zyro in the first place? One thing that you get when you sign up with Zyro is you get a free domain for the first year. So that automatically saves you $15, $20 for the first year. You also have 24 seven customer support and literally it's just with a click a button on the, on the site. I'll show you in just a second. It's high quality support and it's it's right there whenever you need it. And finally, if you're not happy with your first 30 days, you can always get your money back during that time, okay? And finally, what are the costs? So before we get into the, the tutorial here, if you wanna join me and follow along, what are the costs? And you'll see it's extremely affordable. You can literally start for $3.50 per month, okay? And as you go up in plans, you get a little bit more stuff. You can start on whichever one best suits your situation. And the link in the description down below, if you click that link, my coupon code, which is Dane, will automatically be applied at, at checkout, which you can see is applied up here. So these will be your prices. You can see how much you're getting off with that coupon code if you click the link in the description down below. And I'll let you guys go through this on your own time. Um, select the plan that you think best suits you. Each one gets the free domain, so that's excellent. But anyways, guys, click that link in the description if you wanna follow along with the tutorial. And like I said, use coupon Dane for the limited offer. But if you click the link down below, it'll automatically apply it for you anyways. So let's get into this, creating your homepage and footer for this site, okay? And this should be the first step anyways. Before we do that though, I'll show you how to connect the domain that you get for free. So going over to Zyro here, I already have my site started up. Let's go back to websites. Once you create your profile with Zyro, you'll be brought to this page here and you'll be able to click on a template and an AI feature. And if you go over the first video that I created about Zyro, which again, I'll link here or in the description, I talk about how to set up your Zyro account and how to uh, pick a theme. Okay, so I'm not going to detail on that right now. So once you've picked your theme and you're on a page that looks like this, you'll see you have websites here. Yours will probably look like this because it'll be an unedited theme. This one I've already started to edit. So one thing you want to do before you get into anything is go to the domain section here. You're going to need a plan in order to do this. And I already have a domain created, but if you don't have a domain yet and you create an account, you do get a free domain for a year. Click get domain, search for the domain, and then you'll be able to get that domain for free, which is amazing. Not a lot of website builders allow you to do that. So once you have that done, you can go to manage here. So you'll, yours looks like this. You have your domain created. You've picked your domain. Go to manage. And then all you have to do to connect that domain is literally go here, connect domain, and there'll be a list of the domains that you've gotten. It'll probably be one domain because you just created your account. Click the domain and it'll integrate it with your site. It's very easy and that way you have the domain set up for when you wanna go live with the site, okay? So that's the first step. Super easy, super simple. Zyro makes this 
honestly seamless, okay? So anyways, let's go back to our sites here and I'm gonna go into this householdcreative.com. So you can see the domain that I've created is Household Creative. Whatever it may be for your author website, if you have just a single pen name, uh, you can do your pen name and then books.com. So if it's johnsmithbooks.com, that could be your pen name. Uh, for mine, it's gonna be like kind of a publishing business, publishing brand, so I just did householdcreative.com, okay? It's not a big deal, Which one, whichever one you wanna choose, go for it. So let's go to edit. So the first page here is my homepage, and you can see all the homepage and all the, all the um, navigation is up top here. And if you wanna learn how to set up the navigation properly, properly, it is in the first overview video. It's very simple though. You can literally just go here, click edit navigation, and it pops up and you can add or remove different pages, okay? So I have all the pages that we're gonna talk about in this three part video series up top here. What we're focusing on today is homepage and library. So homepage, if you click the, a similar theme to mine, you should already have a header up top here. And all that I suggest you do, let's go back to my slides here. These are the main sections that I suggest you have on your homepage, okay? So a header, a logo with a short bio. So maybe it's just your headshot of your author or just a logo for your publishing brand. I have a logo, I'll show you what it looks like in a second. A featured book, so maybe your bestseller, put that on the homepage. A featured blog post, you don't need to do this, but it is something that kind of integrates it and looks a little bit more professional in my opinion. And I have done it here, so I'll show you what it looks like. And a subscribe form at the bottom of the page so people can subscribe to you and you can kind of build your email list over time. And if we add the subscribe form to the footer section, which I'll show you how to do, that way it's gonna be on every single page of your website. So whenever someone scrolls to the bottom, they'll see that there and they might subscribe to your email list. So homepage, this is the header. All you really gotta do is Zyro. It's like super simple, okay? You can click anything and you can drag things. You see there's like these squares and you can drag them all around the page, okay? And the best thing about Zyro is that keyboard shortcuts work as well. So if you're used to doing like undo, like command Z or copy and paste, command C, they all work, okay? So if I move this over here and I go command Z, command Z, it goes right back to the top. There's also an undo button up top here, but that's just something that I liked about Zyro. It was nice and easy. So I've edited the text here. You can see I put household creative, everything gardening, home, improvement, and crafts, okay? That's kind of my tagline. And then for the background, you can always go like this, click change background, and I can go replace image, and I can use my uploaded images, or I can go to free images up top here, and there's a whole library of images for you to use, and trust me, there's actually a lot. Like I can literally search anything up top here if I go household, something related to my brand. You'll see there's a bunch of images I can use for free on my site. So that is something that I do really like about Zyro as well. So scrolling down, you can see there's the header section, so that's a check, it's very easy to make. Put your logo, or put your uh, brand name or your author name, whatever it is, John Smith Books, with your tagline if you want. Below that, I have the logo and short bio section, okay? So I put my logo on the right here, and all I did for this section, um, on your template, you can always remove sections very easily as well. So like if there's a section on the template that you chose with Zyro, I can click it here and just click trash. If I wanna add a new section, I can just hover over here, click add section, and the section that I'm using for this one is one of the about uh, categories here. You can see it's this one right here. So I clicked that and then I added it on here. So there's an image here. And then we have the household creative with John Smith. And then just put a quick bio, okay? I put welcome to household creative, the place to find the best books all about gardening, home improvement and crafts, arts and crafts, okay? So you can see my publishing brand is focused on those niches. So that's what I put in the bio, very straightforward. So below that we have our featured book, okay? And this is probably one of the most important pages to have on the first page in my opinion. Obviously it's a publishing brand, it's an author. It's important to have the book on the, on the homepage of your website. And all I did was literally make another one of these sections, duplicated it, and then I put the book here. So I have the book on the right, and then we have um, the title of the book and the subtitle. Super simple, no need to go into detail about it. You click get book. And what I suggest you do with this button is if you wanted to, just link it directly to your Amazon link. Okay, so if I have a book here, I'll use someone else's hydroponics book because that's just a made up book there on the first page. It's not actually a published book. So we'll use this book here. All you'd have to do is grab the link from your book on Amazon, go here, edit button, and you can go web address. And I'll paste that link in there. Okay, and then it'll save. And now this button, when people click it, will take them directly to the Amazon page where they can buy your book. Okay, so that's a featured book section. This section, not super important. If you have a publishing brand rather than an author, like if you have an author website, just one book or one single pen name with a few books, I don't really recommend doing this. But if you have a publishing brand with a few different niches that it's into, you can definitely do something like this. It's just like a section that was already on my template and I added gardening, home improvement, and maybe you wanna link these to Amazon or something like that. Below that is the blog section, okay? So I did add section and I went down, or I went to the top here, you can see it says blog, I clicked that, and then I click this and it adds it as a section. And I'll go into detail about blogging in, I think part three of this video series, so I'm not gonna go into detail what to do with your blogs right now, 
but it is kind of cool to have this on the first page. You can see I have entries here, best vegetables to grow hydroponically, and then 10 easy DIY home improvement projects for the summer. Very simple, very easy, and it just makes the front page look a little bit more professional, in my opinion. And then the bottom of this, this template came with this section. You don't need a section like this, but it's basically just a contact form that's part of the footer, and it's on every single page for this template. And this template that I'm using, if you want to use the same one, is called Marcia, I'm pretty sure. So it includes that part. And then below that is the actual footer section. This isn't really a footer, I shouldn't have called it that, but it's, it's on every page at the very bottom. The footer section down here should come by default looking like this. I added in the subscription form. Okay, this is what I was talking about at the bottom here, the subscribe form. So when people subscribe to this form, their email is going to a area on Xyro, which I'll show you right now. So if you click the cog down left here, the website settings, you can go to general settings. And on the left, you'll see form submissions. And I can go here, subscribe form and view the list. And this is where all of the emails that subscribe to your form will be if you wanna contact them. And you can export that, them and put them into say MailChimp, whatever you're using. So it's very nice and easy to collect emails and view them. So let's go back to the site and I'll show you how I added that section to the bottom. So this section right here, all I did was go down here and I clicked um, plus up here. So it's not, it's not like a full section, full wide section, it's just like an element. So I'll go up here, add element. And you can see there's a bunch of different things. You can add images, galleries, a map. All you gotta do is click subscribe form and then it's gonna pop this in right here and you can click edit if you want. You can edit the style, the color, all those kinds of things, okay? And yours is gonna come with just an email address. Uh, you can add different fields though. See, I added the name one, so I have their name and their email when they sign up for my free book. So that's nice and easy. And one thing I could do is even add a headline to this. Subscribe for a free book, right? And I can edit the text very easily. I'll add it down, make it a lot smaller. I'll make it white so you can actually see it. And then I can drag it down here so it's right above the subscribe form so people see that and then they subscribe to your form and you get their email and you can pop it into MailChimp, send them the free book, whatever it is. I'll be talking about the free book in I think section two of this series. So once you've done the first page, it's super simple. Just click save, mine's auto saving so it's already saved, but you can click save, it'll save for you. And you can also work on the uh, mobile version if you want, I'm not gonna do that right now. It's pretty self-explanatory, go through it and edit it yourself so everything is the right size. So let's move on to the library page now. We've got our home page done. Those are the sections that I suggest. So let's look at the library page slides here. And library you can just do is your featured book page if you only have one book, but if you have multiple books, I just call it library because it's where all your books will be. So the main features on this page are similar to the home page. Every page has a, a subscribe form at the bottom because it's part of the footer. But you can see we have a header, which is similar to every single page. And that's just what with my template that I chose, the Marcia template, it has headers on every page. I think it looks good at the top. Have our book covers, if you have multiple books, if you have one book, you just have one book on there. Descriptions of the book, or just what the title is of the book, whatever you wanna do. And then direct Amazon links to those books on Amazon. So scrolling through, you can see the header I added in my text, our books, you can put library here if you wanted to, whatever you wanna do. Um, I added this picture just from the free pictures that Zyro has. And you can see I added this section here. And this section, if you guys wanna add it on, is called images, okay? And you can see there's different images things. Um, I just clicked this three images because I have three books. If you have four books, maybe you want to add two images and then put the description down below it and then duplicate that section and add two more images so you have all four of your books featured. I just clicked this one because I have three books to use. It adds in those photos there. And then below that, all I did for this text was go up here to this element thing and I dragged it, or not dragged it, I just clicked it. And you can drag it to where you want it, edit the size of it. It's very simple. So all I did, I have my three book covers here. You can see it says book cover, but you'll probably have an actual cover. I put the prices, you don't have to do that, and then I put the titles. And then right here I have a link, and again, that's just gonna link to the book on Amazon. It's super simple, I can click edit text, click it and then highlight it, and then you can go up here, click the link, and then you can add in a web address again. So I can pop in that link. Once you've got the link in there, just click save, and this is automatically a hyperlink. So now if I go save up top here and I go preview, let's preview the site and make sure this link is working. So let's scroll down, you can see I have my books here and I'm gonna click Amazon buy link and it's gonna take me directly to my book on Amazon. So it's just a good way to link your books. Some people wanna do e-commerce and sell their books directly to their website, that's fine. But what I suggest if you have them on Amazon, just link them from your site to Amazon. Okay, it makes things a lot more simple. Below that again is the question thing and if you don't wanna have that, you don't have to, but if you want a contact form where people can send you questions, it's good to have that there. And honestly, oh, let's go back to editor here. Honestly, it's very simple to add. It's literally just a form. So if you guys wanted to add in a contact form, your theme doesn't have it for whatever reason, click add element and click contact form. And that will drop this in here and you can edit the fields. You can edit, um, like you can see, I can edit the name field. 
I can make it your email or I can make it your first and last name message here. Those are probably the, the three that you're going to want to use though. And again, if you want to look at the submissions, all you have to do is go to here, go to general settings, form submissions, and you can see contact form. You can view all of the people that have sent you messages through your contact form. And then finally at the bottom, again, we have our subscribe form, but you can see I didn't even add this text to this library page and it's just going over every single page. So all the footer, all the stuff you edit in the footer will carry over into every additional page that you add on Zyro. So that is pretty much it for part one of three of these video series of how to create your own author website through Zyro. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys and I showed you how to create the homepage and the library page. In part two of this video series, we're gonna be going over how to create your author bio page. So your kind of about us page. And then after that in video two, I'll be showing you how to create your own freebie offer page where people can sign up and then you'll send them a free book. So that'll be part two in this video series. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and part two will be coming out next week. It'll be coming out weekly with all three of these videos. So if you're watching video right one right now on the day it came out, video two of this series will come out next week. Okay. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did make sure you subscribe, drop a like on the video and hit the notification bell. So you know, when I post new videos, try to post new videos every single week about self-publishing entrepreneurship and just lifestyle. So next week's video obviously will be all about part two of creating your own author website using Zyro. So anyways, guys, that's it for this one. And I'll see you next week's video. Peace. And one last thing before I let you guys go, I do want to remind you that Zyro is having that exclusive deal right now. If you use the code Dane, you'll get an exclusive discount, three extra months, and you get a complimentary domain with annual plans. You can see here, you get that free domain. You get 24 seven customer support, which is very, very good. If you're brand new to this kind of thing, it's something that is extremely helpful because you can literally click a button on Zyro while you're editing your website. If you have any questions, you can ask for support and we'll get right back to you. And of course you get that 30 day money back guarantee. And like, come on, look at the prices for Zyro. For one month, it's only $3.51 when you're starting out, which is just amazing. So make sure you click the first link in the description down below. It'll apply my coupon code Dane. You'll get that exclusive discount. You'll get three extra months and you'll get a free domain plus all of this good stuff. So again, guys, make sure you use that exclusive discount. Take advantage of it because it's only on for a limited time with Zyro.